Hello students, it's time for another gizmo. This one is called fan cart physics. So if it's not already added to your class, you can just type in the word fan, and then we'll go to fan cart physics. And we'll launch the gizmo. As always, you wanna to go to the lesson info, and you wanna to go to the student exploration sheets. Remember, this is the set of instructions, and it's also the guide where you can put your answers. And you, and you can record any of the data. So this should look familiar, Newton's first law, so that would be activity A. And activity B is for Newton's second law. And we're gonna be doing activities A and B for this particular gizmo. It's also a good idea to do the introduction, the prior knowledge questions, and the warm-up, just so that you understand exactly how the gizmo works. I'm just gonna make this one a little bit bigger. So here is our gizmo. And if you look down here, we've got a track at the bottom and there's a cart. And what we do is we change the cart over here by either adding the fans or masses and any combination of those. And then we hit the play button to see how that works. So if I just put one of the fans on, down here is the on and off button for the fan. So we've got fan A, so we'll turn that one on. And if I press play, you can see that the fan goes all the way across to the end. Now you can let it go all the way in so it hits the wall, or you can pause it at any point. This of course resets to bring it back. If I put on another one, then I can also turn that one on. And if I put on another one, I can turn that one on as well. So remember how fast it went the first time. Now that we've got three of these fans, it should go a lot faster. Let's bring that one back. I'm gonna turn off these other two and I'm gonna have just this one go, and we'll take a look to see how long it takes. Hit the wall in five seconds. And now what I can do is I can add different masses. So I'm gonna put these masses on. We'll put all three of them on. And then when I hit play, you notice it's taking a lot longer. Is there some relationship between force, mass, and acceleration? I wonder if there is. And now we've got 10 seconds over here. The other thing that we can do, I'm gonna take these masses off again just to make it go a little bit faster, is you can show the velocity and the acceleration. You can see I've got my vectors over here. You can also start the cart with an initial speed. So here it says that we're at zero, but the initial velocity of the cart can be changed. So then when I give it a push, it's already moving by the time we get that force from the fans. The other thing that we could do is we can put the fans on, but we can also change the direction. So I can put all the fans on, but for the last one C, I'm gonna make it go in the other direction. And we can play and we can see what effect that has. Now, as these are moving, I'm gonna move these back over here. We also have some data that's recorded in a table, a bar chart, and a graph. So I'm gonna put this back to zero. So I'm gonna play this one forward one more time. And now we can take a look at the data. So we have our time, we've got our displacement, velocity, and acceleration. We can also look at that in terms of a bar graph, our displacement, velocity, and acceleration. And we can also look at that in terms of an actual graph, just a, a scatter plot. And we have some choices down here. Right now this is position versus time, that's x versus t. But I could make it a velocity versus time graph. I could also make it an acceleration versus time graph. I wanna do one more just to show you how if we change something from, here's that graph here, if we change something so that for the description if we have it with an initial velocity, let's give it an initial velocity of one meter per second, and now we give it a go again. Let's take a look to see how it changes on this particular graph. Notice that something changed over here. This one looks a little different too. So there you go, this is the fan carts physics gizmo. You're gonna do activities A and B, and I will see you in class.